Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for the Stars and Strikes series that was created mostly by Julie. Julie is nobody's beauty guru here on YouTube and like 10% by myself. Um, and I'll link her channel in the description box down below as along with everyone else who's doing this collab with us. Um, if you've not seen what this is about, I'll link the playlist down below as well. It's like a best and worst series um, where we talk about our favourite things from each category. Um, up until this point, we've been doing makeup categories, and now we've covered all of the makeup categories that we had in this series. So now we're moving on to other things. Um, this episode is going to be the best and worst of skincare. Um, I'm still looking for my holy grail of things um, and most of the skincare that I've tried is meh um, not really worth complaining about but not great either so I'll try and talk about as much as I can in this episode but because I'm still searching um, there's probably not going to be a lot there are certain things that I know that I will forever repurchase forever and ever um, providing that they don't get discontinued, that is, of course, um, and I'll go through those now. So, the first thing is this. This is the Nooks Rev de Meal uh, Face Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel. Uh, it has honey and sunflower in it, and it's for dry and sensitive skin. I don't have dry or sensitive skin, but my skin really, really enjoys this cleanser. Really enjoys this cleanser. And it works great for those times where you use an oil but it doesn't break down everything, you've still got a little bit of mascara, this will get rid of it when you clean the oil off your face. Um, so I really enjoy that cleanser. Um, another thing by Nooks is the Gentle Toning Lotion with Rose Petals. I wouldn't necessarily say this is Holy Grail but I did buy this off of a sample. Um, the sample I really enjoyed and this is brand new, I've not got to it yet. So I'm just trying that one, but I did really, really enjoy the sample. That's why I went out and bought the, the big size. So it was definitely worth mentioning. Um, another toner that's worth mentioning is the Gatineau toner. I cannot remember what type of toner it was or what it was called or anything, but I remember that it was this sort of packaging, um, but it was clear packaging and it had like a pink liquid in it. And um, this is the Gentle Silk Cleanser, and I think it was maybe like Gentle Silk Toner or something. Um, that one's worth checking out as well. Um, I was torn between which one to get, get the Nooks one or get the Gatineau one, and I went with the Nooks one just because it was easier to get a hold of, but they're both really, really great. One thing that is a holy grail is this. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. I love this stuff. It is the only thing that works to reducing my dark circles, and I really, truly miss it if I'm not using it. I've not really tried any bad eye creams, so I've tried meh eye creams, not really anything awful. Although having said that, I did try, there was an Avon thing, it was like an under eye corrector cream or something, and it had like a gritty texture to it. That was not good. Um, I talked about that in one of my empties videos, which, I mean, you could take ages going through all my empties videos to find that one thing. But hey, while you're there, take in other things as well. So I'll link the playlist for the empties down below as well. Um, I've just got a list here of things that I need to talk about. Something that was a strike for me, I'm just knocking everything over, was this. Is this, this is the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner for Sensitive Skin. This has salicylic acid in it. I did not enjoy this. I've gotten this far because I use it for cleaning off swatches or, to be honest, wiping the desk down. I don't like this as a toner. It breaks me out, like, really, really badly. And this was how I worked out that I was actually maybe allergic, mildly allergic, or at least sensitive to salicylic acid. So I learnt from, off the back of this, oh, that's what's breaking me out this whole time. So I won't buy that again. Something that was really, really great was the Marcel Eye Makeup Remover. It was like a bi-phase thing. I got it from Birchbox, and you can buy Mar Marcel through the Birchbox store. The eye makeup remover, I believe, is £14, and it's the best eye makeup remover I've ever used in my life. I don't currently have it with me because I'm working on this. This is rubbish. This is the Garnier Skin Active Express 2-in-1. I'm nearly done with this and I will never ever rebuy this ever again. It was 
awful. It, do it doesn't take any makeup off at all and it gets in your eyes and it makes your skin feel greasy afterwards and it's just, it's not good. Another cleanser that I enjoyed was the Yes To Tomatoes cleanser. Um, it's the charcoal cleanser, not the bar, not the mask, not the sheet mask, but the actual like gel cleanser. It comes in a bottle about this big. That was really great. It smelt great and it had salicylic, salicylic acid in it and it didn't break me out. So that was great. Um, I really enjoyed that cleanser and that was my holy grail until I found this one. I just prefer the more natural ingredients in this one. I mean, it's not 100% natural, but it's more natural than the Yes Do Tomatoes one is. So I don't want any like harsh chemicals on my skin and that, that doesn't have any in. So. And the last thing that I wanted to give a star to was the Lush Mask of Magnum Minty, which again, I don't have. This is all stuff that I've tried before, but as I said, I'm still working out what works best for me. And these are just things that I've really loved throughout that whole trial period. So the Lush Mask of Magnum Minty, I really, really enjoyed. I will probably get it again at some point. The thing about the Lush masks is though, is you need to use them fresh, otherwise they go bad really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. I'm unsure about that one. I'd much prefer something with a little bit more longevity to it, just because if I'm spending 15 pounds on a face mask, then I want to be able to enjoy it rather than have to rush to use it before it goes bad. That's just my thoughts on that. And that's everything that I wrote down to talk about in terms of skincare, guys. As I said, I'm still trying to work out what works for me, for my routine, that sort of thing. I've not found a moisturiser that I absolutely love yet, so leave down below moisturiser recommendations. I'd love to try what you think is great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was a bit brief and all over the place and I had to make sure that I talked about all the things that I'd written down that I tried before. I know I've never done that before, normally I do it from memory, but I had to make sure that I mentioned the ones because they're stuff that I've tried over a long period of time, like long, long, long period of time. So that's why I felt like I had to write it down this time. Stay tuned for the next episode, that'll be coming in a couple of weeks and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.